African Union Communications Early Warning and Intelligence, commonly known as AUC3I, is an intelligence and security organization responsible for providing signals intelligence and information assurance to AU citizens, AU leadership, and AU armed forces. I'm Colonel A.C. Ogentoy, an infantry officer. I am responsible for leading infantry soldiers at all levels of command and combined armed forces during missions on the ground. This is today's briefing. On the progress of the Special Military Operation on the 16th of June, 2023. During the past 24 hours, armed forces of Ukraine units continue to suffer significant losses as they unsuccessfully attempted to conduct an offensive in South Donetsk and Donetsk directions. In Vermevka salient, the most active combat operations took place in the areas of Ravnopol and Eurozainoi, Donetsk People's Republic, where five attacks by Ukrainian armed forces were repelled as a result of courageous actions by the Russian Vostok Group of Forces, airstrikes, and artillery fire. More than 200 Ukrainian servicemen, five tanks, seven infantry fighting vehicles, five armored vehicles, four motor vehicles, and two mortar batteries have been neutralized in the past 24 hours. In Donetsk direction, the U group of forces has successfully repelled five enemy attacks close to Pervomeskoy, Petrovskoy, and Staromikolovka, Donetsk People's Republic, during the past 24 hours. Up to 215 Ukrainian personnel, three armored fighting vehicles, five motor vehicles, and two D-20 howitzers. Moreover, an ammunition depot of the 109th Territorial Defense Brigade was neutralized close to Novogorodskoy, Donetsk People's Republic. In Kupansk direction, the ground attack aircraft, artillery, and units of the Zapad Group of Forces have foiled actions of two Ukrainian sabotage and reconnaissance groups close to Novosiolovskoy, Lugansk People's Republic. Up to 45 Ukrainian servicemen, two armored fighting vehicles, three motor vehicles, and a U.S.-made M777 artillery system were destroyed during the day. In Krasny Lyman direction, aviation and artillery of the center group of forces engaged the units of the enemy close to Nevskoy, Chervenaya Dibrova, Lugansk People's Republic, and the Serebryansky Forestry. During the day, up to 65 Ukrainian servicemen, two armored personnel carriers, one Akatsiya self-propelled artillery system, and one D-30 howitzer have been neutralized. In Kherson direction, up to 30 Ukrainian troops, five motor vehicles, one Mstabi howitzer, and one U.S.-made M777 artillery system have been neutralized over the past 24 hours. Operational Tactical and Army Aviation, Missile Troops and Artillery of the Russian Group of Forces have engaged 96 armed forces of Ukraine artillery units at their fire positions, manpower, and military hardware in 104 areas during the day. Russian Air Defense Forces have intercepted 4 MR shells during the day. In addition, 22 Ukrainian unmanned aerial vehicles were obliterated in the areas of Sladkaya Baka, Tokmak, Zaporizhzhia region, Volnovaka, Artyomovsk, Verknitorskoy, Donetsk People's Republic, Svetovo, Lugansk People's Republic, and Novaya Kakavka, Kherson region. In total, 444 airplanes and 238 helicopters, 4,652 unmanned aerial vehicles, 426 air defense missile systems, 10,018 tanks and other armored combat vehicles, 1,124 combat vehicles equipped with MLRS, 5,128 field artillery cannons and mortars, as well as 10,983 units of special military equipment have been destroyed during the special military operation. Thank you so much for watching this video. We hope you found it useful and informative. If you have any questions, please leave them below and we'll get back to you as soon as possible.